What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial to the question how to use additive animations. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so here I have my push animation, as you can see, it's pretty simple, it's pushing. Uh, the thing is that I wanted to uh, also be affected by the character current animation uh, like movement. For example, let me show you what I mean. So quickly, let me just right click and create a name montage so I can call it wherever I want. And in the third person character, for example, when I uh, press the N key uh, right over here, let me go ahead and say play montage. And name montage and go ahead and plug that in. So the thing is that if right now I press play, and I am uh, pushing, that's okay. But when I'm moving, as you can see, the fits suddenly stop, there is lighting, and doesn't really you know, look very nice. Now, a few months ago, I did a video where I show you how to use layer blend per mode and basically split the body in two. So the bottom, uh, lower part will be playing the normal animations of the walking and upper part the pushing. But there is another way to kind of blend everything together, okay? Basically, additive animations will just add animations on top of them. That's as simple as that. So we can go up here, well down here actually, in this additive and in type. And we can put uh, different uh, basic uh, animations as a base pose and then it will be added. So we can go into the mesh space and select a, a skeleton animation scaled. And here you can even put your idle animation, right? You can even go here, find your um, idle animation and put it here. Uh, but you can also put directly poses. For example, I can just put whatever this poses that they come with the a normal uh, template and I can just press play and then it loads there we go uh, when I walk you can see that it will go ahead and make it like basically keep the walking animations but also push at the same time and it looks pretty cool and now of course you can try with different uh, uh, background animations like basically base, base pose to get what you want but there are millions of ways in here to do this. Now, of course, if you're gonna play an anime montage, make sure that in your um, animation blueprint, you have a default slot. Now, there's also another way to go ahead and uh, make it directly from the animation blueprint without uh, having uh, basically any montages, right? For example, might you want to do with your walking animation, whatever. So here, what we're gonna do is get your uh, normal animation in my case this is the push one let me put it in loop and then there's this uh node which is the additive uh apply mesh additive and because in here we're using a uh mesh space so if we were using a normal local space you will just use the normal additive node but we're using the mesh space we have to use this one and we can leave the alpha one and then additive uh actually this one would be the additive one but the base will be basically all of the other things and then you will just plug that in and instantly you will see that when i press play as well also it's already attacking there but if i press play and move it will be already doing this <laughs> it's a big um yeah not so great um because there are also many parameters that you can touch in here in order to make it better um, but you get the idea you can basically blend uh, different animations and basically add them on top of them very nicely and um, with this additive animation setting. So if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate you to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Amru Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. And now yes, well I said bye bye.